Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in the Taking Advantage of Divine Season series is True Sight. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Luke chapter 19 and verse 44. They will crush you into the ground and your children with you. Your enemies will not leave a single stone in place because you did not recognize it when God visited you. In church yesterday, the preacher read our anchor scripture out and immediately I heard it. I knew that I would love to share it with you, my dear listeners, in order to show one of the reasons why we must discern seasons. Today's episode is going to be short. In our anchor scripture, Jesus, speaking to the people of Jerusalem, made it clear that a time of great calamity was coming upon them and that the reason this was to happen was because, and I am quoting the scripture verbatim now, they did not recognize it when God visited them. The reason for their calamity was that they didn't discern their season of visitation. Let's track back to verse 42 of that same scripture. That verse says, and Jesus is speaking, how I wish today that you of all people would understand the way to peace. But now it is too late and peace is hidden from your eyes. There are times when not discerning your season can lead to seasons of chaos, frustration and defeat in the face of your enemies. What I do want you to catch in this verse 42 that I have just read is that he said peace is hidden from your eyes. In order to discern seasons, something needs to be done to your eyes. That scripture says again, peace is hidden from your eyes. Peace is there, but you cannot see it. You couldn't discern it. Do you remember the story of Hagar in Genesis 21? Hagar had fled from her mistress and had landed in the wilderness with a child and with no water. The Bible says in response to the cry of the child, the Lord appeared to Hagar. And in verse 19, you see the Bible saying that God opened her eyes and she saw a well. Hagar's eyes were always physically open, yet she stood in front of the provision she yearned for without noticing it. It was after the Lord had done a work on her eyes that she was now able to see what had always been there. For us to truly discern seasons and escape some of what is to come, the Lord will have to do a work on our eyes. We must truly make it one of our desperate prayers. Open my eyes, O Lord that I may truly see. If we will be effective as Christians, believers, witnesses in these end times, God will need to do a work on our eyes. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word this morning. Lord, we ask according to Ephesians chapter 1, that you will enlighten the eyes of our spirit, that we may be a people who truly see. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.